Last week, my team and I traveled to San Francisco for a hackathon. The goal of said hackathon was to build something leveraging AI agents. Look, there I am, just completely locked in. In preparation for the hackathon, I built a bunch of practice projects using AI agents, and it's got me thinking a lot about where we are right now with AI. Like with most topics, if you look online, the discussion is kind of two polar opposite sides. There's one side that is kind of just ignoring the problem a la don't look up, and then the other side that believes AGI is just around the corner and it's going to take all of our jobs and possibly take over the world. While I agree that AGI would certainly have a significant economic impact, no one knows for sure how far we are from it. And there's real reasons to believe that large language models like GPT won't get us there alone. I think all this focus on AGI and its possible economic impacts are taking the focus away from where we are right now. So let me introduce you to AI agents, tell you how they work, and explain why I believe they're already good enough to take a surprising number of jobs. I think a good place for us to start here is to talk about what an AI agent even is. An AI agent is basically us just taking a large language model like GPT and then giving it a series of tools that allow it to interact with its environment. Those tools are typically function calls that let us execute some code. And since we can execute code, that means we can do almost anything. We can search Google, we can update a database, or critically, we can pass that context onto another model. I think the best way to showcase just why this is so powerful is to walk you through an example. Don't worry, this isn't going to turn into a programming tutorial. I just want to showcase some high level system design on how we might solve a problem leveraging AI agents. Let's design a system that uses AI agents to intake orders at a fast food drive through First, we'll start with a pre-recorded message that'll play when the customer pulls up to the drive through something along the lines of, hi, may I take your order? Next, we'll listen and use a speech to text model to translate anything the customer says to text. Here's where we can get fancy. Now we can take what the customer said and pass it along to an AI agent, along with some context about the restaurant. Then we give the AI agent a list of tools, as well as descriptions of how to use them. In our case, we'll be giving it access to three tools. Respond to customer, which allows it to ask the customer follow up questions or respond to any inquiries they have about the menu. Add to order, which allows it to take what the customer ordered and add it to the system and then confirm order, which will read back the order to the customer and then confirm it with the kitchen. Now, this is a pretty basic system and I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that it would handle every situation perfectly. But what's scary about this is I could build this pretty quickly. With enough time, I'm pretty confident we could get this to be pretty dang good. Maybe it wouldn't be the best drive through worker in the world, but that doesn't really matter when it's basically free to run. This is just one example as well. Agents have the power to do so much more. Basically any job that involves talking to people and then doing something with a computer is a great candidate for AI agent work. I did some bag of the napkin math and I had to estimate that at least 4 million jobs in the US fall into the category of stuff that in my opinion is done pretty easily by leveraging AI agents. And that's just the low hanging fruit. There's tons of roles in the US that would greatly improve their efficiency when they start leveraging AI agents to help them out in their day to day work. And my role is included in that. It's hard to describe just how much faster using an AI enabled editor has made me as a developer. Okay, so what's my point here? The point is, even if AI never gets any better, it's already good enough to have a significant impact on the economy and the job market. Fortunately, since AI agents are so new, a lot of the products that have been spun up leveraging them are still in their infant stages. And that's why it's so important that we start discussing how we should handle this now. Because the tools are coming, and we should do everything we can to be prepared.